Now we turn our attention to how markets opened this morning. The yen stabilized following a Wednesday decline that sparked speculations that Japanese officials will intervene to strengthen the currency. Asian shares sank following a decline in the United States tech companies in late trading overnight. Stocks in Japan, Australia and China declined, putting the MSCI Asia Pacific stock gauge on course for its first loss in three days. U.S. equity futures slipped after big tech was hit by Micron Technologies' outlook. The firm's view failed to meet lofty expectations that have powered the bull market in stocks. A plethora of metrics also continue to demonstrate how market breadth is weak. This has increased the uncertainty regarding the rally's staying power. According to Bloomberg Intelligence, the bifurcation between the performance and the breadth of S&P's 500 index has hit a three-decade low. The yen was marginally higher Thursday after dropping 0.7% in the prior session when it slid to 160.87 per dollar. That is the weakest since 1986 and well past the level where officials intervened in April. An emerging market currency gauge dropped to its drop to near its lowest in two months and a gauge of Asian currencies fell to levels not seen since 2022. Traders flocked to safety of the dollar. The resurgent dollar is wreaking havoc in Asia this year, putting pressure on central banks to step up the defense of their currencies. In commodities, gold mostly held Wednesday's decline where it fell to the lowest level in around three weeks. Crude edged lower as well. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.